happened today and where Kavanaugh's nomination stands. I'm joined by Democratic Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York. Senator, your reaction to what you saw today? Well, I thought Dr. Blasey Ford's testimony was incredible. I thought she was so heartfelt. Uh, she spoke her truth so passionately, with such candor, with such emotion. I, I was really... Um, inspired by what she did today. Um, I thought the second half, though, was so discouraging. I thought the way uh, Judge Kavanaugh started with partisan attacks, it really made me question his fitness for this office, for the fact that he does not have the temperament or the character or the honesty or integrity to be a Supreme Court justice. Uh, I was really disturbed by the second half of the hearing and disturbed by my Republican colleagues and how they acted and what they said. Um, th that opening by Judge Kavanaugh, um, have you ever seen uh, a, a nominee for judicial position, particularly Supreme Court nominee, speak in that kind of way, using language like borking, talking about a kind of Clinton uh, conspiracy, et cetera? I've never heard about it, and I never, I could never even have imagined it. Um, and it really makes me question his absolute unfitness for this uh, nomination. I, I just, I cannot understand how he could turn something so important as this hearing into a, uh, into finding out the facts of a credible accusation of sexual assault into some kind of political hit. And the way he talked, he was so uh, arrogant in how he spoke to senators uh, and, and dismissive. Uh, I, was, I was really um, offended by how he behaved at the hearing. Um, there was a strange format uh, in, in, in which um, a woman had been brought in, a prosecutor uh, was brought in to cross-examine, uh, mm -hmm. essentially, uh, the, the woman who, Dr. Ford, who's making this allegation. She started to ask sort of similarly kind of pointed procedural and prosecutorial questions uh, of Judge Kavanaugh and then was stopped and then the Republicans took the gavel back and asked the questions the rest of the way. What did you think about that? Well, I thought her role in the first place was highly concerning. The fact that they asked a prosecutor to ask questions of Dr. Blasey Ford uh, as if she's on trial, she's not on trial. She was bringing forth credible allegations that this committee needed to assess and then look at uh, Judge Kavanaugh and assess his credibility. And then the fact that she starts to question Judge Kavanaugh and then is cut off by the Republican senators and dismissed. I mean, it really wasn't fair. And it just goes to the heart that this hearing was never set up to be fair. It was never set up to get to the bottom of it. The fact that, again, Judge Kavanaugh could not answer the question. Five Democratic senators asked him, will you ask for an FBI investigation? And he could not say yes, not once. He continued to obfuscate, to um, pivot to different issues, to um, filibuster and talk about things that was not being asked about. I just thought his behavior and, and the content of his testimony was uh, absolutely inappropriate. Do you think he was lying? Yes, I think he lied several times. The fact that he kept saying, oh yeah, I love beer, I love beer, I mean, honestly, and then couldn't possibly say, no, there was no evening when I drank so much I didn't remember, even though he made jokes about it when he took his road trip with his buddies to watch the baseball game. I mean, it's really shocking to me that he could be um, so direct in, in not telling the truth about his drinking and how it affected him. Do you think he was lying about the core substance of the allegation? Dr. Blasey Ford said he assaults her. Do. He said he's innocent. You think he remembers that night and is lying about it? I believe Dr. Blasey Ford, and I believed her testimony. I think she spoke uh, from the heart as someone who was reliving the worst moment of her life. You could see it on her face. This was something that was traumatic, um, deeply troubling for her for her whole life. Uh, she told the truth, and that was very clear. And I don't see how possibly uh, what he said could possibly be truthful, given what she said. So I, I think he wasn't telling the truth, and I don't believe him. You know, we're at a moment, obviously, in the country, the sort of profound uh, record and awakening around um, questions of patriarchy, sexism, um, gender inequities. What was today? What was the, the spectacle of today that all of those men on the Republican side of that, that day, as Brett Kavanaugh, Dr. Blasey Ford, what message did it send? Well, in some ways, it was a tragic day for America because to have those Republican senators disregard Dr. Blasey Ford's testimony, to have them speak as if uh, she didn't just tell them what happened so honestly, so honestly and so forthrightly, and then to try to 
turn this hearing into a spectacle and, and accuse Democrats of being partisan and that this is some conspiracy. I mean, it was shocking to me. And I think for a lot of women in this country, particularly for survivors, it was a really low moment. I think a lot of women are suffering and feel that this country does not have their back, that in fact, these Republican senators are disregarding them, disregarding their truth, disregarding their value and their voices by how they behaved and by how they treated uh, Judge Kavanaugh and, and as if he is the victim here. He is not the victim here. He is someone who is hoping to be able to serve on the Supreme Court in a lifetime appointment. He is being given an extraordinary opportunity and he showed so little humility and so little gratitude for the opportunity he's been given. And he turned this entire hearing into a, a sad story about himself, that he is somehow the victim here. That is not the case. And I just want to say that to Dr. Blasey Ford, her courage, I mean, she's the hero and she's the one who spoke truth to power in a powerful way and in a truthful way that I think inspired people across this country. Um, it's a tough day. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's inarguable. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.